Hello everyone, it is the Canadian Futures Trader here. It is currently the end of January 2021, and I thought I'd put together more of an informative video. I wanted to go through the main four funded trader valuation programs, kind of go through the key points of each of them, the price a little bit, give the pros and cons, and that is it. So hopefully anyone sort of evaluating these programs for the first time, maybe you're familiar with some of them, but not the others, maybe this video will be of some help. So the four programs I'm speaking of are Top Step Trader, One Up Trader, Lilu Trading, and Earn to Trade. I consider them to be kind of the main four, the, the ones that, uh, as he talked about the most, I would say. So let's get started. So a little bit about my background related to these programs. Um, I have traded in each of these at least one time, so uh, a little bit familiar with them. Uh, Earned to trade. Uh, I haven't traded with them recently, and we're going to get into details of each of these a little bit later, just so you know. Uh, Top Step Trader, I've been funded twice, and I have busted both of those, just to be fair. Uh, Lilu Trading, I have traded with. Um, I've only done what they have called the Lilu Express, and we're going to talk a little bit about that a little bit later. Uh, and one up trader, I'm currently funded. I, I've only been through them once and fortunately passed and uh, received a funded account. So uh, I will mention, I'm not sure if I mentioned in the next slide or not. Uh, if you check out my channel, if you're interested, I made videos as I went through both the top step program and the one up program. Uh, documenting my progress each day. Now the videos aren't how to trade, my trading style, none of that. I think in a few videos I recorded some trades, uh, but that's not really what I want to document. I want to just document the process of what it's like to go through the funding programs, get funded, and how it works out. So you can find those videos on my channel. So this video is not meant to be an in-depth review of each and every program. I'm really just trying to hit on the highlights of each of them. Uh, like I said, talk a little bit about the pricing, the pros and the cons. And some of those pros and cons are kind of relative to each program. Uh, there's plenty of other intricacies in each of these. So I highly recommend if there's one that you're really interested in, go on their site, dig in, uh, go on some of the futures message boards, ask questions, search, see if the question's been asked before. I recommend futures.io and uh, elitetrader.com. And I'll put links down below to those two forums as well. Uh, also worth mentioning as I'm recording this on January 30th, 2021, these programs change over time. I mean, I've been doing this about a year now. I've seen changes, multiple changes in every one of these programs, honestly. So just know that whatever I'm talking about in this video might not apply in the future. So if you're watching this, you know, a month from now, a year from now, five years from now, things might have changed. So again, definitely recommend you actually go to these companies' websites and really dig in and learn about the specs at the time that you're interested in them. So let's talk a bit about price. Now we're not going to go through each and every one of these, uh, you know, prices and specs, um, but I wanted to put up a general comparison. Feel free to pause the video if you do want to look at these. I've put up a, what a 50k evaluation, 100k evaluation, and 150k evaluation uh, would look like for each of these. I want to mention most of these have a cheaper option. They all have um, either 25 or 30k evaluation as well. Uh, some of them have uh, 200k, or sorry, I think it's 250k, and I believe Lilu even has a 300k evaluation. So they have other ones, but these are amounts that I think are probably the most popular and that all of these programs have. So let's talk through a few notes I made on each of these, and then I'm going to call it a few things about the pricing. Um, top step, one big thing I want to mention is you have to reach the goal twice for each of these. Top step is the only program that currently has a two-step process. So for example, here, the 50K account, $3,000 goal, you actually do $3,000 in step one, which is five days, and then you do $3,000 again in step two, which is 10 days. The rest of these programs is one step, 15 days, and your goal would be just $3,000 uh, in aggregate. Uh, one up, I didn't really have any special notes to make. Uh, Lilu, I wanted to mention they also have a special called the Lilu Express currently. That's the only thing I've ever done with them. So I can't really, I haven't really gone through the process of a 15 day evaluation with them. The Lilu Express, uh, just to let you know, is a 100K evaluation, but it's 10 days instead of 15. That's the Express part. And you only have 10 days. You have to finish in 10 days. Whereas with all these normal evaluations, uh, 15 days is kind of the minimum. You can take much longer if you want. So 
If you're interested in Legal Express, all the information, of course, on their website. Uh, last note here, Earn to Trade. If you are going to go with Earn to Trade, they run deals often. When I say often, it's continually. There's always some sale on. So, And a little bit later, I'll tell you about the sale they have currently on just to give you an idea. And, of course, if you watch this in the future, the sales will change. But uh, definitely check out uh, their page for, for whatever the current deal is. In terms of pricing, a few kind of highlights I want to make. Um, Top Step does have typically tend to be the most expensive so for example let's look at the 100k um they charge 325 one up is only 300 lilu's only 220 uh earn to trade is 315 one other thing about top step i want to call out is they at least on the 50k and the 100k they give you less contracts so for example they only give you 10 contracts for the 100k all the other programs give you 12. a uh, similar thing here on the 50k they only give you five all the others uh well this one gives you six this one six and lilu gives you eight and i also just wanted to point out that lilu tends to be on the cheaper side we're going to talk more about lilu in more depth a little bit later um more so on the 100k and the 150k you can see kind of see the price is cheaper um actually this kind of surprised me 180 for the 50k it's higher than anyone else but you do get eight contracts so you have to kind of judge if you'd rather pay the higher price get more contracts or just jump up to say the 100k so with that let's move on okay so let's talk about top step trader first so uh Basically, with Top Step, you have to meet the profit goal twice. I mentioned that already. So step one is five days. Step two is ten days. Keep in mind these steps are you can take longer. Than this this is the minimum amount of days you need to trade. Uh, but where they kind of you know if you want to put it in the pros and cons column, put it in a con column. You do have to re meet that profit goal twice. Um, they have a scaling plan on step two. So once you pass step one, you're in step two, you don't get the full amount of contracts available immediately. You have to reach certain profit goals and then you can trade more contracts and they have their scaling plan available on their website. And like I mentioned on the pricing uh, slide, they have slightly lower contracts like that 50k account. You only get up to five contracts where you get typically six with the other companies. So uh, something to just keep in mind. Uh, I would say they have the best presence online. Uh, they were the first company I traded with. They're very much out there. They do a lot of marketing, um, but it's not just about marketing. They have a Facebook group, which is fairly active. The founder of the company participates in the group often. Uh, a few other representatives from the company are in there answering questions, etc. They do a podcast. I recommend you uh, find and download. I honestly forget the exact name of it, but you can probably find it on their site. Uh, they also do YouTube uh, daily. They do like live streaming. They put up videos sometimes. Uh, so they're really out there. They put out a lot of content. So I would say definitely in terms of a company you feel comfortable with and you kind of know who the people are behind the company, this is definitely the one. So um, it doesn't surprise me that they kind of, to me, they kind of come across as kind of the first company that most people would probably choose to trade with and that might also be tied in with while they're able to charge a little bit more because there's a bit of a premium there for that sort of feel good uh, aspect to them um like i mentioned i do like them as a company but in terms of just ev evaluating trading programs and what you get in the end i feel like there's better options like you can do get the exact same end result for a more fair price with some of the other companies I also would say they have the most kind of gotcha rules where there, you know, there's ways that you can fail that are a little bit easier than with some of the other companies. Now, they did just recently change one of the rules related to the contracts. So that would be something, for example, where if I talked about this two weeks ago, I would have called them out on it and said, hey, you know, they will fully let you trade too many contracts and then bust you for it. Whereas other companies don't do that. Well, Top Step just recently changed their uh system so that you can't trade too many contracts so uh, i'm glad to see they fix that they're kind of moving in the right direction but there's still things like having the two-step process i mean you're effectively having to make the the amount twice um there's a few other rules again i don't want to get too bogged down in the specifics of them but i would definitely you know if you're considering them check them out go ask questions look up questions other people have asked one other thing i want to mention Again, it's not the end of the world, but it's just something, if I'm going to say the pros and cons, this falls in the cons column. Uh, there's about a one to two week setup process for a funded account. And I know it's kind of washed out here in the colors, but all the other companies are one to two days. So is it a big deal in the big scheme of things? Probably not. But, you know, if you pass and you're kind of excited and you're getting a funded account and it's going to take two weeks to be set up, a bit of a buzzkill relative to other companies. For example, one up, I uh, was funded within two days, had a funded account. So just to put it in perspective. 
Okay, let's talk about 1UP Trader next. So first things first, no scaling plan. So whatever your contract limit is, you get that for the entire valuation. Uh, personally, 1UP uh, quickly became my favorite. Uh, I would say it's a good balance of everything between the, the cost of it to the scaling plans to their professional level. So just to speak to that quickly, they're a little bit cheaper than Top Step. Uh, the scaling plan, meaning you have your full contracts available from the start. There's only one step instead of two. In terms of being a professional company, I've had no issues with them. Support was very helpful. I had like two questions early on. They were, they were super quick to help me out. And you lose a little bit. Like if you really want the hands-on touchy-feely approach, Top Step's the way to go. Like I mentioned in the Top Step slide, you know, the Facebook group with the founder and the daily YouTube videos and the podcast, all of that. 1UP doesn't necessarily have all of that stuff. They do still have a pretty cool dashboard with your daily stats, uh, progress bar, graph, you know, how you're performing, all of that but without all the extra fluff. So, you know, you save a little bit on price, you don't get quite as much fluff. I personally, that kind of falls right into uh, my wheelhouse. So, uh, I'm fun with them. Uh, if you want to follow along on that, I mean, I passed in uh, early January, so you can see those videos, they are up under, I made a playlist for 1UP. Personally, I would say they're probably third in terms of people's awareness. And again, I'm speaking from my own perspective. I kind of discovered Top Step first, then earned the trade, and then after that, 1UP and Lilu. But they definitely just didn't have, and, and pretty much still don't, have as much presence, I guess. They don't advertise as much. They're not just as well known out there. Um, I'm going a lot off of just what I see other people talking about. So I mentioned earlier some of the futures message boards, uh, futures.io and Elite Trader. You see threads all about Top Step all the time, and then you see ones about Earn the Trade, but very seldom do you see ones discussing 1UP or Lilu. So uh, I kind of wish 1UP got a little bit more uh, talked about amongst the community. Uh, they do have a 250k option available if you really want to swing for the fences and go a little bit bigger. So. So next, let's talk about Lilu. Before I go through the points, I will mention just a few days ago, I put up a v video, it's quite long, it's almost an hour, all about Lilu. Uh, there's timestamps in that video, so if you really want to learn about the, the different uh, valuations they have, the funding process, they have two funded account options, so there's quite a bit of information with them, and a little bit of it gets confusing. Um, so go watch that video if you really want to dig in on Lilu. Uh, let's just go through the points here, though. Uh, also, they have no scaling plan, so you get the full amount of contracts from day one. Uh, they have a 250k and a 300k evaluation. So again, if you really want to go big, they have those available. They also have something called the Lilu Express, which is only 10 days you have to pass in 10 days you can't take longer it's the 100k count 12 contracts i will say this is the uh, program with lilu that i have personally gone through so i can't speak to their normal evaluations i haven't done them on paper they sound similar in how they work to other pro other companies uh, the lilu express is definitely unique in that other companies don't kind of have this accelerated you know passing it funded option uh, there's two funded account options, regardless of what evaluation you go through with Lilu. Again, you want to learn more about those. I have the video or it's available on their site. You definitely want to learn a lot about how those work because there's definitely some quirks related to uh, the timing, the scaling, uh, the payouts and how they work. And speaking of payouts, they do only pay out once a month. So that's kind of a negative to Lilu. I would say it's not a huge deal, but relative to other companies which pay out weekly, Paying out once a month, you know, kind of wish it was a little bit more frequent. Uh, you know, I just put it in the perspective of what if you had just a fantastic week, say you make an, 10 grand and you want to be able to withdraw that and now you have to wait till the end of the month. So uh, something like that. Uh, what are the requirements for withdrawals once you're funded is that you have to have traded 10 days out of the 30 of the month to get a payout. I feel like that's actually pretty reasonable. And I didn't mention so much for the other programs, but each program kind of has their own requirements for minim minimum re trading requirements in order to process a withdrawal. So Lilu's is based on days, 1UP's is based on volume traded. Um, so you, again, when it comes to the funded accounts, you really want to check out what their specifics are and dig into that. I would say they're definitely the lowest ranked in terms of professional. Uh, I cover a lot of that in the other Lilu or 
yeah, in my other Lilu video. There's not necessarily anything negative about them out there. Uh, it definitely takes some digging to find proof that people have passed and got paid out, but I was able to do that. So I would say they're a viable option, although there's definitely a lot of skepticism around them. Uh, so just keep that in mind. But I mean, I would say ultimately Le to like sum up Lilu in a nutshell, they're far cheaper, but you also get no frills. There's no dashboard, there's no community, there's no nothing. Basically it's, hey, pay, you get your evaluation account, congrats, go you know, meet the requirements and let us know when you're done and uh, we'll check it out. That's very much the kind of feeling I get with Lilu. So if you're looking for a little bit more affordable option, uh, they may well be the way to go. Earn to trade is number four. Uh, so let's talk about them a little bit. Uh, so I have traded with them before, didn't never succeed it. Uh, they, they do have a scaling plan from the start. So again, compared to say like a one up or Lilu, you know, hundred K account, Lilu, you're going to get 12 contracts available right away. Earn to trade, you're going to have to scale in as basically as you build up your profit level, you'll have more contracts available. They do often run deals. So if you decide to go to, with Earn to Trade, uh, their program is called the Gauntlet, or the min, it's called the Mini Gauntlet. They have a full gauntlet, which I don't cover in this video. I honestly don't really know anyone that does it. I think it's like a three-month program. I could be wrong. Honestly, I have not much, looked much into it. Nonetheless, they often run deals, so you definitely want to check out their Instagram or their Facebook. So, for example, their current deal, they just posted this today, uh, was 40% off any 100, well, not any, the 100K evaluation. So, they always have pretty deep discounts like this. So, um, if it's not currently, say you were looking at the 50K, just wait a month and there's a good chance they'll have a deal on that as well. So the biggest issue with Earn to Trade is as of right now, they currently don't have a funding partner. Um, and it's the biggest issue for me and it's why I haven't touched them for several months. This has gone on for basically four months since I believe it was September, they've been in between brokerages. So basically the way it's worked is anyone who passed, they were allowed to trade on what they call live SIM. They could earn up to $5,000. And that was it. So imagine being somebody who passed in, let's say, October 2020. You get your live sim account, you make your 5000 and now you're just stuck waiting for these guys to make a deal with a new funding partner. And this has gone on, like I said, and originally it was, oh, it's only going to take a few more weeks. It's going to take a few more weeks, and this is just dragged on. Now, currently, they're saying it'll be early February, which is just a few more weeks away from where we are right now. So... I 100% have zero interest in partnering with her in the trade right now just because no idea when they will actually solidify a deal with a funding partner. So just something to keep in mind. Um, if you're watching this in the future, you know, that's definitely something you want to check out and make sure that that is all squared away. Uh, they are a viable option. Like I've, like I mentioned, I've traded on their program before. I didn't pass. There's nothing wrong with it. I just didn't do too well. Uh, when they do run deals, they are pretty good. Uh, but yeah, the funding partner thing is kind of the biggest hang up I have with them. So, uh, as I mentioned here, personally, I feel like any of the other options are a better choice right now relative to earn to trade. Maybe once they get a broker squared away, these guys will be viable. Um, you still have to consider a few of the things like you will have a scaling plan versus not have a scaling plan with someone like a one up pricing probably be cheaper if you get one of the deals. So, uh, everything is done through rhythmic, etc. So, uh, a lot of the other things are just on par. They're basically the same between programs. So keep that in mind with earn to trade. A good way to understand what's happening with this is on, I mentioned a few times now, the futures IO forum there's actually a thread it's an ask me anything with earn to trade and it's like their head of customer support i want to say uh i forget her name but she's answering questions if you find that thread just search for earn to trade or yeah earn to trade on futures io you'll find the thread and you can get updates on where they're at with this so just a few points to consider for the evaluation stages one, be very careful with trailing drawdown. This applies to all the programs. Understand how it works for each company. Top Step, to their benefit, has probably the easiest trailing drawdown rules. Lilu by far, has the most difficult. The other two programs kind of fall in the middle. Uh, look at the daily and weekly loss limits. They are similar between the programs. Most of them actually don't have a weekly loss limit. I know Top Step does. Um, but they all have daily loss limits. You want to know what those are. 
Uh, scaling plan, again, also you want to know who has a scaling plan, who doesn't, how it works, you know, what levels are. Uh, basically, earn a trade and top step do have a scaling plan. 1UP and Lilu do not. And then economic events, how you're allowed to trade around these. So I'm talking specifically around things like uh, crude oil inventory report comes out every Tuesday morning. Uh, FOMC uh, statements when they come out and uh, Jay Powell comes out and you know gives his talk some of the programs don't care they let you trade through those others like top step I know definitely does not and again this isn't a rule that's enforced by them until you break it so you could easily just have a trade open you're oblivious to the fact that you know let's say you're trading crude oil and you're not watching the time and it turned out you're trading right when the crude oil inventory report comes out you technically weren't allowed to trade then, and guess what? You fail. You lose your account. So uh, that would definitely be a bummer, if, especially if you were late in the part. Let's say you're on day 13, and it turns out you break kind of the silly rule. You know, it's, I mean, the rules are there. Uh, you know what they are. They do have a calendar. You can check them out. Point being, know what the rules are, not just the economic events rule. Know what all the rules are for your given program, and make sure you abide by them. So, Lastly, just some things to consider for once you're funded. And I think this is the area where, uh, again, just in my observation, people really don't think about sort of after the fact. They focus really on the rules of the trading evaluation. They don't really look at what the rules are once you're funded. And they do differ between the different programs. So, And ultimately, our goal is to get funded. So let's make sure that you know whatever program we're going to get funded with has rules that we're okay living with. So uh, a few things, monthly fees once you're funded. Some of the programs are free. 1UP is free, for example, after you're funded. Uh, top Step charges a monthly fee. Uh, most of the other ones do, actually. They charge a monthly fee, uh, and it's to cover data um, for your data feed, etc. So just know that you're going to have to pay that or not pay it if you're with 1UP. Uh, withdrawal fees as well. So, for example... I, I'm trying to remember, Lilu has free withdrawals, 1UP, for example, has $45 wire fees. I'm not quite familiar with the other programs, I don't remember off the top of my head, but just, know, you know, again, be familiar with what these are. Uh, payout frequency, I, I feel like this one's almost a bit bigger one. Again, I mentioned before, Lilu only pays out once a month, someone like 1UP pays out once a week. Software fee, another big one. Uh, most of the programs, you're going to have to provide your own trading software once you're funded. So a nin we'll just use NinjaTrader as an example. Uh, Lilu actually lets you use NinjaTrader for free, even after you're funded. I believe all the other programs, you have to provide your own software. So keep that in mind, because that can be a big expense. Trailing drawdowns, you want to understand how those work after the fact as well, when they stop, etc., um, minimum withdrawal amounts, another important thing. For example, 1UP, uh, $1,000 minimum withdrawal. Other programs like Top Step, I don't believe there is a minimum withdrawal. So again, you really want to dig in and make sure you understand all of the rules for your program. Minimum trading requirements. I touched on those a little bit for Lilu, um, but each of the programs has their own minimum trading requirements as well once you're funded. Once you're funded, it's not like you just get to run away and do what you want. You still have to abide by quite a few rules. So apparently so you want to uh, make sure you know what those are uh i wrote trailing drawdowns again by mistake uh it's just that important so and profit split so currently the profit split is basically identical between all the programs it's, it usually boils down to your first x amount of dollars is 100 percent yours and that's currently around eight thousand um and after the fact it's an 80 20 split where you keep 80 percent of the profits they keep 20 so again look make sure that's still the current uh, deal and then other, be sure to dig in and ask any questions you have. And then lastly, just other, be sure to dig in. Any questions you might have, go and seek answers. Either email the companies and ask them directly. Uh, pretty much all of these companies have an ask me anything on the various forums, or their their support at least is active on the forums. They have chats on their site, etc. So So you, you know how to get in touch with them uh, and ask those questions that are important to you. So with that, guys, hopefully this was useful, meant to just be a summary overview, touched on the things that I think are most important. Certainly, there's probably other aspects to these programs that are important to you guys. Uh, if you have questions, I mean, feel free to leave them in the comments. If I know the answer, I will certainly chime in and let you know. If not, though, definitely encourage you to go ask the companies directly. And that is it. So be sure to subscribe as well to the channel if you want to see the videos. I'll try to continue to make other 
trading evaluation related videos, trying to put out fair content. I'm not selling anything. I'm basically just trying to shed a light on all things related to these trading companies, just because I've been through them. And I know I had a million questions when I first started out. I still come up with questions I have uh, as I move along. So uh, I'm just trying to educate other people and save them some of the, the research that I had to do myself and, and deep digging. So thanks guys for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.